this is part 2 video of odontogenic keratocyst where we will be learning to draw histopathology diagram of this lesion for which we need eosin hematoxylin pencils and a lead pencil to draw the circle and a sharpener in between to sharpen the pencils to get good finish to the diagram. Now we shall start the outlines for drawing the epithelium. Now you know that it has a lumen, it has epithelial lining and a connective tissue wall. So we shall do an epithelial outline like this to show the infoldings and we will draw a closer another parallel line this is the epithelium area with uniform thickness now we will be drawing the basal cells which are columnar cells you can draw either cuboidal or columnar here I am doing columnar cells showing palisading once we finish the beautiful layer of basal cells we have to draw the nucleus in them we will be drawing the nucleus placed away from the basement membrane to show the polarized location of it now we have a nice layer of basal cells with the nucleus polarized showing picket fence or tombstone appearance that we discussed in the part 1 video the theory part of it now we will be doing the upper layer of cells again take a eosin pencil to draw the polygonal cells on top to draw the stratified squamous epithelium And now a thin layer of flattened cells with keratin layer on top. Now since we are doing a parakeratinized surface epithelium, it shows corrugation that is wave like keratin or rippled surface. This is very characteristic feature of OKC. Now we will be, we can draw another thin layer of keratin. Odontogenic keratocyst is all about keratin filled cyst. And now we will be making the nucleus in the superficial cells now we will be drawing the surface keratin with pycnotic nucleus the keratin we have drawn so we'll just put a thin layer of uh, thin uh, nuclei in the keratin layer to show it is paracaratina stratified squamous epithelium. Now we are done with the epithelium. We shall do the connective tissue part of it. Now in the connective tissue, first let's draw few satellite cells, satellite cysts or the daughter cysts, which have similar appearance as the epithelium lining the lumen. So we shall do the columnar cells. and the keratin in the lumen here we'll do the keratin with a portion of cystic 
space. We'll just leave a poor part of it as cystic space. And then uh, we will be doing the nucleus in these daughter cysts. The rest of the connective tissue, uh, we will be drawing few blood vessels just like any other connective tissue component, all the mesenchymal components, collagen fibers, fibroblasts, and fill them up with nuclei for the endothelial cells fatter nuclei like this and for the fibroblasts like this now we shall do the ground substance with the side of the pencil just fill up all the area with your same pencil. Leaving all the luminal areas. The direction of all these collagen fibers and the ground substance should be parallel to the lining epithelium. Now we will draw the collagen fibers more prominently. As we discussed in the theory part, the inflammatory component is not much in these developmental cysts, especially in odontogenic keratocyst. And this uh, epithelium forms keratin because this is from the uh, functional or pre-functional dental lamina cells. So they have, uh, they differentiate to uh, a cell which produces keratin. So this is what uh, will be the structure of odontogenic keratocyst histopathologically. Now we shall start labeling these structures. So the first thing is, it is odontogenic Keratocyst. This is the cystic lumen. Stratified squamous paracaratinized epithelium. surface corrugation of the keratin showing surface corrugation or you can write keratin surface showing corrugation these are the daughter cysts or the satellite cysts Once we label the surface corrugation, 
it is very important to label the basal cell palisading so here it is basal cells showing palisading you can even write resembling picket fence or tombstone appearance picket fence appearance or tombstone appearance now we can also show given a chance i would like to uh, show the fragile interface between uh, epithelium and connective tissue so you can separate a portion of epithelium and connective tissue here uh, with the faint uh, you know separation line like this and say that there is sloughing of epithelium epithelium from the connective tissue because of fragile interface last but not the least we should label the thin fibrous connective tissue wall in which we see the satellite cysts or also called as daughter cysts this is the drawing of odontogenic keratocyst hope you all liked it please feel free to comment on the channel if you have any doubts please feel free to ask hope you like this I will be back with another histopathology diagram. Till then, see you all. Bye.